So do you want to invest in real estate? Yes, you can. And no, you don't need at least rupees 50 lakh or 1 crore to invest in real estate. Yes. So small investors, if you want to diversify your portfolio, you can actually add another asset, the asset of real estate in your portfolio by choosing to invest in REITs or real estate investment trusts. Now, what is a REIT? Well, as the name suggests, real estate investment trust, REITs actually act like mutual funds. Just like in mutual funds, mein, investors say ek amount pool in kiya jata hai or different securities may invest kiya jata hai. Similarly, when it comes to real estate investment trust, it is also managed by trustees and an amount is pooled by several investors like me and you or wo amount pool in karke revenue generating properties ya real estate mein lagaya jata hai. Now, if we talk about the infra projects which are chosen for REITs, they can be data centers, healthcare units or rental property. Now, the thing comes to how investors get capital appreciation from this. Well, A, the capital appreciation in the form of the surplus cash flow which the trust has actually acquired by benefiting from that particular property. And second capital appreciation which the investors can get is in the form of dividends. Yes, they do get dividends when the trusts acquire money from the rental income of the infra projects. Now, secondly, what is the minimum amount which you need to invest in real estate investment trusts? Well, earlier, before July 2021, the minimum amount which was required to be invested in REITs was rupees 50,000. But after July 2021, that amount has been reduced from 50,000 to a minimum amount of 10,000 to 15,000 which is fairly a good amount which any investor or most of the investors can afford to diversify their portfolios. Now, how can you invest in real estate investment trusts? Well, just like exchange traded funds, they are listed on a stock exchange and like an initial public offering, you can also subscribe to the units of the real estate investment trust on a particular stock exchange. But in that case, in Indian context, you have a DMAT account hona mandatory hai because it is listed on a stock exchange. If we talk about its benefits, ki, so apart from diversification, another benefit which you can get is choosing real estate as an asset. Yes, because real estate of late has seen a lot of fluctuations. It is stagnant bhi raha hai and then there has been growth as well. And the biggest advantage here, in this case, is for small investors who can invest in real estate. So real estate nowadays is not just meant for big shots, but small investors like me and you can also choose real estate investment trust. Now, the question comes to capital allocation, how much percent of your amount will actually real estate mein invest in real estate. So if we talk about REITs, as per the mandate by the government of India, real estate investment trust have to invest at least 80% of their asset under management or the capital which they pooled in from the investors in real estate projects. And as per the mandate of the government of India, the real estate investment trust is actually liable to pay 90% of the surplus cash flows to the investors. So you definitely have the benefit of capital appreciation and a portfolio diversification. So if you have any queries related to the Real Estate Investment Trust, do reach out to me in the comment section or you can also message me on different social media platforms at The Irish Coffee Investment and I'd be happy to answer all your queries. For more such videos and content, keep following The Irish Coffee Investment.